Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight. Of course, over the past year, we've seen so many businesses come and go, some favorites closing up shop. Add another one to the list, Sushi King on South King Street. I practically grew up there. Now, they've been around for 30 years, and a story that's new at 10 tonight, Sam Spangler spoke to the owners who've been there from the start. They share what the future holds for the popular sushi restaurant. Within walking distance to the University of Hawaii, Sushi King is royalty to both students as well as residents alike here in Honolulu. But they'll be closing their doors this month, 30 years to the date after they first opened. New property owners gave way to a disagreement on the lease, so Sushi King made the decision to close up shop despite doing so well during the pandemic. I go home at night and I just, it's still a little shocking because the closure for us was a little more sudden than we expected. Sisters Tez and Sylvia mostly run Sushi King after their mom, Shuli Kondo, opened the business back in 1991. Tez credits the loyal regulars for keeping their business thriving for all these years. I actually opened this restaurant 30 years ago, and it's just crazy. I moved back from the mainland here four years ago, and I still see the same people that come through. Now they have their own children, and some are coming in with their grandchildren. I mean, it's just the history of it is kind of crazy. Regulars just love the Ono menu. I love it because they're the only guys that can do the salmon katsu like the best way, and there's just their sauce. Tom Ondong started coming with his parents. Now he goes every Friday and Saturday from Mililani Mauka. He says he gets nostalgic about his days at UH when Sushi King was the go to spot no matter what time of day. After the game, you just come in here and you get. The jumbo platter price, actually they call it the happy hour price, and this place actually closed like at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning. A bright yellow sign now hangs above the entrance to say mahalo until next time. We come down here at least you know, once a month and have been for years, and, uh, but I'm sure they have, they'll be opening in the area, so I look forward to that. Hi, Sushi King, how can I help you? Yes, the business isn't gone for good. The restaurant is still figuring out where to reopen and when. People are in tears when they hear that we're closing, but I just hope they know that it's not the end, it's not a farewell, it's just kind of a little pause until we find a new location. With a new location comes a new menu. Hartney says they might add more vegetarian items, but you can still expect the fan favorites. Sushi King will say aloha to its Mo'ili'ili Ili location on June the 20th. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.